Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with AP Physics uh, Dynamics questions. Again, these are the kinds of problems where we'll set up free body diagrams, and then we'll use net force equations to solve them. So let's take a look. The figure above shows an 80 kilogram person standing on a 20 kilogram platform suspended by a rope, passing over a stationary pulley that's free to rotate. The other end of the rope is held by the person. The masses of the rope and pulley are negligible. You may use g equals 10 meters per second squared. Assume that friction is negligible and that the parts of the rope, uh, the rope shown remain vertical. If the platform and the person at rest, what is the tension in the rope? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, so let's take a look at what's happening here. As I have, um, let's look at the platform as a whole. Ooh, which way? I want to set up a free body diagram, right? Uh, I'll set a free body diagram around this guy. So I'll, the, the whole platform, well, let's do the person maybe. Maybe the person would be nice. The person has a force mg, and then he's got a normal force, the platform pushing back on him, and he's also got like tension uh, from the rope. Okay. So that's like one one set of equations that we got here. Um, that's everything pulling on the person, right? Now let's look at the platform as a whole. The platform has a rope pulling on it, T. It's got gravity pulling on it. It's got a pushing also pulling on him. So like this normal force, like he pushes back with the same normal force here. Right, and that's sort of um, the setup because the the guy the the person is pushing on the um, on the elevator. That's why the elevator or the platform pushes back on him. Okay, so let's set up the net force equations here. The net force equations for this per so the, uh, the the each the mass of everything is a little bit different, right? So these forces all have to equal. So for this platform, we're gonna do n plus tension, we'll say upward is positive, has to equal the mass of the person, which is 80 times g, which is 800 newtons. Okay, But for this equation, I have t plus, uh, no, t would have to equal this same normal force plus um, uh, 200 newtons, because this is a 20 kilogram platform, 200 newtons. Okay. So if I solve for n here, this one tells me n equals 800 minus t. And I'm going to plug it into here. And so t is equal to 800 minus t plus 200. Or 2t is equal to 1,000. Or t is equal to 500 newtons. Um, yeah, the person now pulls on the rope, so the acceleration of the person on the platform is 2 meters per second upward. What is the tension of the rope under these new conditions? Okay, so now I have to, instead of the forces being equal, the net forces have to give me a net acceleration up at 2 meters per second squared. Okay, so again, for uh, this, this guy's equations, I would say n plus t minus 800 newtons that's the gravity of this guy and i'm just going to drop the units because i don't want to be too confusing with the n normal force i should really write it f sub n that's probably why a lot of people do that um that has to equal 80 times 2 80 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared that's 160 newtons okay so again we'll rearrange for n n is equal to 960 minus t. That's this equation. This guy's equation for the platform is t minus n minus uh, mg, which is um, 20 times 10, 200 newtons. That's the weight of the, the platform. Has to equal 20 times 2. His mass times his acceleration. Because the platform and the person have to move at the same acceleration. So, um, that's equal to 400. So I have T minus N is equal to 600. Right? This is 400. Add 200 to get 600. Okay, and then I plug this in. 
So I have t minus 960 minus t is equal to 600. Another way, this is t. This is 2t equals 600 plus 960 is uh, 1560. So now the tension is equal to uh, 780 newtons. Okay. See, see, like now the tensions increase, which makes sense. Under these conditions, what is the force exerted by the platform on the person? In other words, what is the normal force? The normal force is 960 minus t, which is equal to 960 minus 780, which is equal to, so the n is equal to, that's 80, 180, 180 newtons. Okay. Okay, so that's that problem, all right? Always a little bit tricky, and then you got to think about the free body diagrams you got to set up for all the objects, all the objects with mass. So, hope you guys found that helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.